Okay, so happy Sabbath, everyone. Um, so, just going to continue this topic from yesterday. And I took all the points that we discussed yesterday, and I've um, well, the notes should I say the notes that I had yesterday? I've updated them slightly. Also, die Notizen, die wir gestern haben, die habe ich jetzt noch aktualisiert ein wenig. And I've also put them all, even the ones yesterday, into, into German. Und die, die von gestern waren, habe ich auch noch ins Deutsch gesetzt. Okay, so, um, just a quick reminder of what we were looking at. Eine kurze Erinnerung an das, an das was wir angeschaut haben. Cool. The first thing we looked at was this, uh, this point that it's about the truth that sets us free, right? Das erste, was wir uns angeschaut haben, war über diese Wahrheit, die uns freisetzt. Okay, and we looked at this quote that was dealing with uh, after the fall of Adam. Right? And the plan that the Lord was going to put into place to save uh, fallen humanity. Okay, and just to remind you of this point, if you just go to uh, Genesis chapter 3. Because we've we don't always grasp this point fully that Christ is always playing the role of us. Okay, so in verse 15, Vers 15, this is what he desires to do in us. Right? Das möchte er in uns tun. To change our hearts from being from loving evil to hating evil. Right? Dass er unsere Herzen ähm, verändert, dass wir also jetzt, wo wir das Böse hassen, dass wir dann das Böse, nee, wo wir das Böse lieben, das Böse hassen. Yes, they have these natural hearts and these spiritual, right? Diese natürlichen Herzen zu geistlichen Herzen. It says, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Now we know this is the new birth, right? Und wir wissen, das ist die Neugeburt. Marks when you come out of the belly. Das markiert, wenn du aus dem Bauch kommst. In the next verse. Der nächste Vers. It says unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. Right? So the experience to come to the birth is a sorrowful one. Right? Die Erfahrung, um zu der Geburt zu kommen, ist eine ähm, schmerzhafte. Yes? Okay, so when we go back to this first quote. Gehen wir zurück zu diesem ersten Zitat. Um, <coughs> In the, the highlighted part where it talks about where he approached the exceeding bright light. Und gehen wir zu dem Fettgedruckten, wo es äh, sagt, als er sich dem überaus hellen Licht näherte. It says, soon he approached the exceeding bright light which enshrouded the Father, and he seemed to engage in close converse with him. The anxiety of the angels was intense while Jesus thus came in with his Father. Three times he was shut in by the cloud of glory. The third time he came forth, his countenance was calm, free from all perplexity and trouble, and shone with benevolence and loveliness, such as words cannot express. So prior to him coming forth, what was his experience? Also before er hervorkam, was war seine Erfahrung? Perplexity and, and trouble, right? Ratlosigkeit und Trübsal. Okay, and this, this is the same experience that we read in Genesis 3.16, right? This is the same Erfahrung, die wir auch in 1. Mose 3, Vers 16 gelesen haben. So it was through this exceeding bright light that brought him forth out of the womb, right? Also durch dieses überaus helle Licht, das hat ihn aus dem Mutterleib gebracht. Okay, okay, and then the next quote we were discussing Sister White parallels um, the, the, about the Jews when they rejected Christ. Das nächste Zitat, was wir besprochen hatten, da hat Ellen White um, die Juden parallel gesetzt, wie sie Christus verworfen haben. Speaking about the point when he, as the glory, left the temple. Ich sprach right? über den Punkt, als er, was die Herrlichkeit ist, den Tempel verlassen hat. And then she went on to say that this was the same glory that Isaiah saw 
above the mercy seat on the day of atonement. Und dann hat sie weiter gesagt, dass das dieselbe Herrlichkeit war, die Jesaja am Versöhnungstag gesehen hat. Okay, so she's contrasting. The Jews rejected that glory, whereas Isaiah received that glory. Sie right? setzt das eben in Kontrast. Die Juden haben diese Herrlichkeit verworfen, aber ähm, Jesaja hat diese Herrlichkeit erhalten. Did Isaiah receive that Genesis 3:15 promise? Hat Jesaja diese 1. Mose 3 Vers 15 Verheißung empfangen? Yes, because he received the seal of God, right? Weil er hat das Siegel Gottes erhalten. So he, he had to go through this distress and perplexity because of his sin and be purified, right? Er musste also durch diese ähm, Drangsal und Verwirrung gehen ähm, wegen dieser Sünde. Ähm. The distress and perplexity to be purified. Ah, um gereinigt zu werden. Okay. And it was the exceeding bright light that shining into his heart that brought him to this point. Right? Das war das überaus helle Licht, was in sein Herz geschehen hat und ihn dann zu diesem Punkt gebracht hat. Had he rejected the exceeding bright light, his feet would have been left in darkness. Right? Hätte er das überaus helle Licht abgelehnt, dann wären seine Füße in Finsternis gewesen. And she parallels when You, she, he, when he walked out the temple, says, "Your house is left unto you desolate." Right? Deswegen setzt sie das parallel, wenn er aus dem Tempel gegangen ist und gesagt hat, "Euer Haus ist euch wüst hinterlassen." Amen. Amen. And we we know we were looking at this that, that is right here, right? Wir wissen, das ist genau hier. Prophetically, midnight. Das ist prophetisch gesehen Mitternacht. Right, which was this point right here, right? Und hier war das genau hier. Okay, and Then we looked at this, this read this quote about the, this, the, um, the Shekinah glory between the two cherubims. Right? Dann haben wir dieses Zitat angeschaut von der Shekinah Herrlichkeit zwischen den Cherubim. Christ ministers before this Shekinah glory. Und Christus er dient vor der Shekinah Herrlichkeit. We saw that the light came from the Shekinah glory to Christ and Christ Waved it over those that were earnestly praying. Wir haben gesehen, dass das Licht von der Shekinah Herrlichkeit zu Christus kam und das dann von Christus zu denen, die gebetet haben, also zu ihnen gekommen ist. Okay, so those earnestly praying, what does it represent? Die, die ernstlich beten, was stellt es dar? When we're building on the thoughts that we've done before, Christ is playing a role. So what were the, those earnestly praying, what does it represent? Also wir bauen auf den äh, Gedanken zu forschen auf, ähm, weil Christus spielt unsere Rolle. Also was stellen diejenigen, die ernsthaft gebetet haben, da? I mean, when you're, when you're earnestly praying, what experience is it? Wenn du ernstlich betest, welche Erfahrung ist das? Okay, so that, that's what I'm asking. So they, they now represent the role that Christ played when he was in perplexity and trial. Sie right? stellen jetzt diese uh, Erfahrung da, oder uh, diese Rolle da, die Christus gespielt hat, als er in dieser uh, Verwirrung und Drangsal war. So what did he send them? Was hat er ihnen gesandt? This, this, this light, right? Das Licht. Okay, and the, What came to them was the exceeding bright light, right? Was ihnen kam, war das überaushelle Licht. Okay, we just read the exceeding bright light is this Shekinah glory, right? Wir haben gelesen, dass das überaushelle Licht diese Shekinah Herrlichkeit ist. Okay, then we went to the quote from Broadside. Dann right? sind wir zu dem Zitat von Broadside gegangen. Okay, and it begins with Sister White talking about she couldn't see the Father because he was covered in this glorious light. Und dann right? fängt es damit an, dass Ellen White den Vater nicht sehen konnte, weil er mit diesem herrlichen Licht bedeckt war. Okay, and in this vision, she saw the light come from the Father to Christ and then we, he waved it over the praying company. It's the same illustration as the quote before, right? Und in dieser Vision hat sie dann gesehen, wie das Licht vom Vater zu Christus kam und von Christus ähm, ist es dann über diese ähm, betende Schar ausgegossen worden. Das ist dieselbe Vision, wie wir zuvor gelesen haben. Yes. Okay. So, and all those that received the light, their faces shone with its glory. Right? Und all diejenigen, die das Licht erhalten haben, ihre Gesichter schienen mit seiner Herrlichkeit. All those that re rejected the light, their feet were left in perfect darkness. Right? Und all diejenigen, die das Licht verworfen haben, ihre Füße 
ging dann in die vollkommene Finsternis. Okay, so, um, now, now we come to a point, so about halfway down that quote, right, if you come to that point when um, you see the Father rise from the throne, right? Und jetzt gehen wir zu einem Punkt, das ist, um, also in der Hälfte des Zitates, wenn der Vater vom Thron aufsteht. Because it says, this company all received the light and rejoiced in it, as their countenance shone with his glory. And I saw the Father rise from the throne in a flaming chariot, go into the Holy of Holies within the veil, and did sit. There I saw thrones that I had never seen before. Then Jesus rose up from the throne, and the most of those who were bowed down arose with him. And I did not see one ray of light pass from Jesus to the careless multitude after he arose, and they were left in perfect darkness. Those who rose up when Jesus did kept their eyes fixed on him as he left the throne and led them out a little way. Then he raised his right hand and we heard his lovely voice saying, Wait here. I am going to my father to receive the kingdom. Keep your garments spotless. Right? So, this was a history. Right? Das war eine Geschichte. The history was... From this point, right? Diese Geschichte war von diesem Punkt. Where the Father rises up and he goes into the most holy place. Wo der Vater aufsteht und in das Which would be here, right? Heiligste geht, das wäre hier. So he rises up and goes into the most holy. Then Christ rises up and leads them out a little way, right? Der Vater geht hier, steht auf und geht das, das Allerheiligste und Christus steht auf und führt sie einen kleinen Weg. Okay, and he leads them down to October 22nd. Und er führt sie hinunter zum 22. Oktober. Where he says, wait here. Right? Und er sagt, wartet hier. Okay. And what I want you to see is this, it's just a fractal here of what happens here. Right? Was ich euch sehen lassen will, dass das hier nur ein Fraktal von dem ist, was hier geschieht. Now, somebody asked me the question, why is the father getting up here and going into the most holy place? Und jemand hat mich mir die Frage gestellt, warum steht der Vater hier auf und geht in das Allerheiligste? I, at the time, I, I didn't know the answer, but it says, when I have the answer, I'll, I'll let you know. Right? Zu der Zeit hatte ich noch nicht die Antwort, aber dann habe ich gesagt, wenn ich die Antwort weiß, dann werde ich es dir sagen. But we know that this history here is just a type, right? Und wir wissen aber, dass diese Geschichte nur ein Typus ist. It was the parable of the ten virgins, right? Das war das Gleichnis der zehn Jungfrauen. So when you get down to here, where he says, wait here, it's the closed door, right? Wenn man hier hinkommt, wo er dann sagt, wartet hier, dann ist es die geschlossene Tür. Unto 2,300 days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed, right? Bis 2,300. 2300 Tage, dann wird das Heiligtum gereinigt. So. Perfect fulfillment means that it's now finished. Die right? vollkommene Erfüllung davon ist, dass es dann bedeutet, dass es abgeschlossen But ist. But in history, it's just a type, so it's marking now the beginning of the investigative judgment of the dead. Right? In der Geschichte war das nur ein Typus, deswegen markiert es den Anfang des Untersuchungsgerichts an den Toten. But it's typifying the end of the judgment, right? Aber es schattet das Ende des Gerichts. So, When the, the father, um, for instance, the exceeding bright light, we mark this point. Here's Isaiah, right? Also, or, or it's, it's the same as Isaiah's experience, right? Okay, so the veil's taken away, right? And you have this, uh, this exceeding bright light comes and it leads you to be humbled in the dust and be purged of your sins, right? Der Vorhang wird weggenommen und da kommt dieses überaus helle Licht und das führt dich dahin, ähm, bis du in den Stab gedemütigt bist und du bist von deinen Sünden gereinigt. It's the end, right? Das ist das Ende. For the first group. Für die erste Gruppe. The harvest, the sickle goes in, right? Also, das ist die Ernte, die Sichel geht rein. August 11, 1840, right? 11. August 1840. Yes? Guys, come on, it looks like everybody is like in a sauna here, like trying to stay awake. So we need to, th these things are very important, right? Wir müssen wach bleiben, diese Dinge sind sehr wichtig. Okay, so this is August 11, 1840, right? The okay. end of the, sec the second war, right? Das ist der 11. August 1840, das Ende der zweiten Wehe. Lada rain is poured out, der right? Der Spätregen wird ausgedacht. She says that it's the harvest, Sie right? Sie sagt, das ist die Ernte. Okay, so right here, when this happens, right? Um, 
it's marking the point where the father gets up now and goes into the most holy place. Wenn das geschieht, markiert sie hier, dass äh, der Vater aufsteht und in das Allerheiligste geht. And Christ is now leading out a little way. Right? Und Christus führt jetzt einen kleinen Weg hinaus. So what I, I want to suggest is that when the father goes in here, it's illustrating now, he's going now to judge the Gentiles. Und was ich vorschlagen will, wenn der Vater jetzt hier aufsteht, und da reingeht, dann stellt er jetzt da, wie er die Heiden richten wird. Okay. It's the father that presides in the investigative judgment, right? Das ist der Vater, der im Untersuchungsgericht den Vorsitz hat. Right? Richtig. Yes. And Christ is the mediator, right? Und Christus ist der Mittler. He stands before him, that's what we read, right? Und er steht vor ihm, das So, Christ leading out a little way is a symbol, right? Also, dass Christus einen kleinen Weg hinausführt, ist ein Symbol. Just go to John chapter 10. Okay, it says, um, okay, just quote it. Uh, verse 1. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. And <clears throat> it says, But he that entereth by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Now, at midnight, is there a door here? A Mitternacht gibt's da eine Tür. Okay, Luke 11, right? Lukas 11. Remember the man comes at midnight and he says, I'm in bed, the door is now shut. Right? Der Mann kommt zu Mitternacht und er sagt, ich bin im Bett, die Tür ist jetzt verschlossen. But when you persevere in this, this trying experience, he will open the door for you, right? Wenn du in dieser prüfenden Erfahrung aushältst, dann wird er die Tür für dich öffnen. That's this door right here, right? Das ist diese Tür hier. It's the street gate, right? Das ist dieses uh, enge Tor. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. So when you go through the door, where are you? Wenn du durch das, die Tür gehst, wo bist du? In the sheepfold. In der Schafherde. Right. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and what? Leadeth them out, right? So those that enter into the door here, they are the shepherd, right? Right? They are his representatives on earth. And they are leading out, right? Okay, and his sheep will hear his voice and they will come to him, right? Seine Schafe, die werden seine Stimme hören und zu ihm kommen. Right? I'll just give you another illustration. Go, go to Matthew 24. Eine Matthäus 24. Then we'll go to Matthew 13. Und danach gehen wir zu Matthäus 13. Verse 29. Matthäus 24, Vers 29. Immediately. Sofort. Where are we? Wo sind wir? What, why? When he puts the sickle in, right? Wir sind dort, wo er die Sichel rein. After the tribulation of those days, after what? Nach was? The tribulation, Der right? Trübsal. Shall the sun be dark, and the moon shall not give a light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Is it really Christ they see there? Is this really Christ that they see there? No, it's his people, right? Nein, es ist sein Volk. We read this quote the other day, it says they make them a, a sharp sickle, right? Wir haben das Zitat letztens gelesen, wo es steht, dass er sie zu einem, einer scharfen Sichel gemacht hat. And if you go to verse 31, wenn jetzt Vers 31 geht, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. What's a trumpet? Das ist eine Posaune. It's his voice, das right? Das ist seine Stimme. Okay. So it says, my sheep shall hear my voice, right? Sagt, meine Schafe werden meine Stimme hören. He shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall do what? Was werden sie tun? 
are gathering the sheep, Sie right? sammeln die Schafe. Okay. 12 Ochsen. 12 Ochsen. Because it says here, to the, from the four winds of heaven. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Das sind die 12 Ochsen, weil es sagt, das ist von den vier Enden des Sinnes. Okay, so you, you get the point there. When Christ is leading them out a little way, it's his people giving the message, which is the midnight cry, right? Sie könnte den Punkt jetzt verstehen, wenn Christus sie jetzt einen kleinen Weg hinausführt, dann ist es sein Volk, die die Botschaft geben, nämlich die Mitternacht. Okay, and the Father is in the most holy place, this is this half an hour in, in Revelation chapter 8, right? Der Vater ist im Allerheiligsten, das ist diese halbe Stunde in Offenbarung Kapitel 8. Okay, until it's finished, right? Es ist vollbracht ist. Okay, that Matthew 25, verse 10. Right? Matthäus 25, Vers 10. Okay, but in history, it's just a type, right? Aber in der Geschichte war das nur ein Typus. Okay, Christ at this point went into the most holy place and began the investigative judgment of the dead. Just also typifying something, right? Also Christus ist dort ins Allerheiligste gegangen und hat das Untersuchungsgericht an den Toten ähm, verbracht und das äh, äh, stellt auch nur etwas dar. Right? Okay, what, what does he typify? Was schattet er voraus? Yes, this is the, this is the seventh plague, right? Das ist die siebte Plage. So where Christ comes. Da right? kommt Christus. And the judgment of the dead begins. Und das right? Gericht an den Toten beginnt. For the thousand years, right? Diese tausend Jahre da. Okay, so they're all, they're all types, they're all symbols, and they have to be determined by the prophetic narrative, right? Es waren alles Typen um, und um, deswegen das sollte bestimmt die Erzählung. They have to be determined by the prophetic narrative. Sie müssen durch um, die prophetische Erzählung bestimmt werden. Okay. Um, go to the, the next quote. Gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat. Okay, from GC 611, right? Okay. And the only point that uh, we read this the other day, this um, yeah, this is the quote it says talks about August 11th, 1840, right? And it talks about the the, the latter rain, right? Spricht über den Spätregen. Okay. Um, and the only point I want to make here is that when they received this latter rain here, their faces lighted up, shining with holy consecration, hastened from place to place to proclaim the message from heaven. Right? That's what the last paragraph, right? Also den einzigen Punkt, den ich davon machen wollte, ist hier im letzten Absatz, wenn es sagt, dass sie wenn sie das, äh, diese Herrlichkeit erhalten haben, haben ihre Gesichter geleuchtet und sie sind von Ort zu Ort geeilt und haben die Botschaft des Himmels verkündet. Right. Now, in August 11, 1840, is marking the end here, but it's also marking here. And it's this parallel, right? Der 11. August 1840 markiert hier das Ende, aber auch hier, das ist einfach eine Parallele. Right. It's two times the latter rain for, for two different groups, right? Zweimal der Spätring für zwei verschiedene Gruppen. Okay, now that's That's where we pretty much got up to yesterday. So go to the next quote. Also bis hierhin sind wir gestern gekommen. Und jetzt gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat. This quote, right, is Sister White's um, first vision. Dieses Zitat ist ein Whites erste Vision. Right, that she had on October 22nd, 1844. Die sie am 22. Oktober 1844. So she's now at the end, right? Sie ist jetzt am Ende. Right? Richtig. Okay, so... This is what we've just illustrated this, right? Christ leading them out a little way and come to the closed door, right? Das haben wir gerade dargestellt. Hier ist Christus, wenn er sie einen kleinen Weg hinausführt und dann kommt man zur geschlossenen Tür. Okay, let's read this um, quote. Lassen Sie jetzt das Zitat lesen. I seem to be surrounded with light and to be rising higher and higher from the earth. I turn to look for the Advent people in the world but could not find them. When a voice said to me, look again and look a little higher. At this I raised my eyes and saw a straight and narrow path cast up high above the world. On this path, the Advent people were traveling to the city, which was at the further end of the path. 
they had a bright light set up behind them at the beginning of the path, which an angel told me was the midnight cry. Right. So, point one you to see, right? The bright light at the beginning of the path is right here. Right? This was here. Das war hier. He told them here, he says, keep your garments spotless, right? Hier hat er ihnen gesagt, haltet eure Gewänder makellos. They'd all entered in, right? Sie sind alle hineingegangen. The door had closed. Die Tür wurde verschlossen. Everybody that received the message had now, was now part of this vision, right? Jeder, der jetzt die Botschaft erhalten hat, war Teil dieser Vision. So now we're here. Jetzt sind wir hier. Right? Now, this vision, when you go back to Broadside, the very first sentence, Geht jetzt nochmal zurück zu dem Zitat von Broadside, zu dem ersten Satz. Um, just the very first sentence. Genau, der allererste Satz. In February 1845, I had a vision of events commencing with the midnight crap. Right? Es fing mit dem Mitternachtsruf an. In the point I want to make, this is where the midnight cry was given with power in history, right? Der Punkt, den ich machen will, hier wurde der Mitternachtsruf mit großer Kraft in der Geschichte gegeben. Okay, you have Mordecai here giving the midnight cry, right? Und hier ist Mordecai, der den Mitternachtsruf gibt. But this was July 21st. Aber das war der 21. Juli. And if you go back in history, July 21st, um, Samuel Sheffield Snow began to bring forth his arguments, right? Und wenn man in die Geschichte geht, dann kann man sehen, am 21. Juli 1844, da hat Samuel Snow seine Argumente zum ersten Mal vorgebracht. Und als er das getan hat, was geschah? Wenn ihr das nicht kennt, dann müsst ihr nochmal die Geschichte lesen. But it caused a shaking. Es hat eine Erschütterung verursacht. Right? And the, the, the leaders were stirred up over this message because it was something new, it was new light that they hadn't understood, right? Die Leiter waren aufgebracht über diese Botschaft, weil es war eben neues Licht, was sie nicht verstanden hatten. Okay, M Miller had actually laid it out, but he had just overlooked it. He sort of ignored these points. Miller hatte das eigentlich ausgelegt, aber er hatte das übersehen. Er hat diese Punkte ignoriert. So Samuel Sheffield Snow reads through Miller's writing, sees these points clearly, and he now brings it forth, also right? Samuel Snow liest durch die Schriften von Miller, und ähm, sieht dann diese Punkte und bringt sie hier vor. And it led to the, the meetings from August 13th to the 15th, I think they were, or 12th to the 15th, something like that. Und das hat dann zu diesen Treffen geführt und die waren, glaube ich, so ähm, vom 12. August bis 15. August. Okay, and that's where the midnight cry message went forward with power. Right? And that's what she's talking about here in Broadside, right? Okay, Sister White says that when the midnight cry went forth, it was the greatest experience of her uh, whole time, right? Ausging, dann war das diese größte äh, oder die beste Erfahrung ihrer ganzen Zeit. Can have been speaking about here. Es konnte nicht hierüber gesprochen werden. Because none of them understood it, right? Weil keiner von ihnen hat es verstanden. Right, it's only understood at this point, right? Es wurde erst an diesem Punkt verstanden. So, broadside, in February 1845, I had a vision of events commencing with the midnight cry speaking about here. Also in broadside, wenn es sagt, um im Februar 1845 hatte ich Visionen, die über die Ereignisse mit dem Mitternachtsruf anfingen, dann spricht es darüber. So, when you go back to this next quote that we were reading from CET. Wenn ihr jetzt zurückgeht zu diesem nächsten Zitat, was wir gelesen haben von CET. She says they had a bright light set up behind them at the beginning of the path, which an angel told me was the midnight cry. Right? The beginning of the path that they're walking on is from here. Der right? Anfang des Pfades, auf den sie gewandelt sind, war dann hier. Right? August the 11th, 1840. Der 11. August 1840. Okay. Okay. In, in, in there, in, in the literal illustration, it was October 22nd. It was the closed door. Right? Und in ihrer buchstäblichen ähm, Erfahrung war das der 22. Oktober, die geschlossene Tür. Okay, so... October 22nd now was marking the beginning and 
they had to walk this path all the way till Christ comes, right? Der 22. Oktober markierte diesen Anfang und sie sollten dann diesen Pfad in, hinwandeln bis äh, Christus kommen sollte. But we know that this point, October 22nd, is a parallel to this point, right? Wir wissen, dass dieser Punkt, der 22. Oktober, eine Parallele zu diesem Punkt ist. It's the beginning, right? This is the end and this is the beginning, right? This is das Ende und hier ist der Anfang. When you have your new birth, it's now the beginning of your Christian walk, right? Wenn du deine Neugeburt hast, ist es jetzt der Anfang deines christlichen Wandels. And what Marius just read is this exact experience from here forward because they were to keep their garments spotless, und right? Das, was Marius gerade gelesen haben, war genau diese Erfahrung von hier vorwärts, weil sie sollten ihre Gewänder makellos halten. Right. And this is just a bigger fractal of this. Und das hier ist einfach ein größeres Fraktal von dem hier. She says this starts with the midnight cry. Sie sagt, das hier hat angefangen mit dem Mitternacht. Christ led them out a little way to here. Christus hat sie einen kleinen Weg bis hierhin geführt. What's he doing here? Was macht er hier? What's He's leading them out. They've got on the path, right? Er führt sie hinaus. Sie sind auf dem Weg. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, the quote. Gehen wir zurück zum Zitat. They had a bright light set up behind them at the beginning of the path, which an angel told me was the midnight cry. This light shone all along the path and gave light for their feet, so that they might not stumble. So when um, Lucifer was brought here. What was he? Als Lucifer hierhin gebracht wurde, was war er? The light bearer, Der right? Der Lichtträger. Okay. When they came out of Egypt, what were they to be? Als sie aus Ägypten kamen, was sollten sie sein? The light, right? Das Licht. This is this light that's set up at the beginning, right? Das ist das Licht, was am Anfang aufgerichtet wurde. Illustrated the same here in this smaller fractal, right? Und dasselbe wird hier in dem kleineren Fraktal dargestellt. Okay. It says this light shone all along the path that gave light for their feet so that they might not stumble. If they kept their eyes fixed on Jesus who was just before them. That's exactly what we read in Broadside. Right? They had to keep their eyes fixed on Jesus which was just before them. Right? Leading them to the city they were safe. But soon some grew weary. And said the city was a great way off, and they expected to have entered it before. Then Jesus would encourage them by raising his glorious right arm, and from his arm came a light which waved over the Advent band. And they shouted, Alleluia! Others rashly denied the light behind them and said that it was not God that had led them out so far. The light behind them went out, leaving their feet in perfect darkness. So those that rejected this light, what happened to them? They were left in perfect darkness. All those that rejected this light, they left in perfect darkness. The whole Bible shows us this illustration. You start off here and then you you get tempted and you reject your past experience, right? Die ganze Bibel zeigt uns diese Erfahrung, dass du hier im Vorwärts gehst und dann wirst du versucht und dann verwirrst du deine vergangene Erfahrung. Okay, it's just shown us the very same thing. Es right? zeigt uns einfach dasselbe. Okay, it says others rashly denied the light behind them and said it was not God that had led them out so far. The light behind them went out, leaving their feet in perfect darkness, and they stumbled and lost sight of the mark and of Jesus, and fell off the path down into the into the dark and wicked world below. Right? So if you just go back to broadside, Wenn ihr noch mal zurück zu broadside to the bottom um, ganz unten hin. the very last sentence. Der allerletzte Satz. Because when he gets here, right? Weil wenn er hier hinkommt. It says the people are praying, say Lord give us of thy spirit. Die Leute beten, Herr gib uns von deinem Geist. And the Lord sends them his spirit, right? Und der Herr sendet ihnen seinen Geist. That's them here. Das, dann sind sie hier. Right? But there's another group here. And they, they don't realize that the Lord has left the, 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 the throne room, right? And they... 
was praying to Satan, right? Und dann gibt es aber eine andere Gruppe hier, die realisieren nicht, dass äh, Christus den äh, Thronraum verlassen hat und die beten jetzt zu Satan. Okay, and, and they are, the whole purpose of that was to keep them deceived and also to then for deceive others, right? Und der ganze Zweck von ihnen war, dass sie, also sie sollten verführt bleiben und dann andere verführen. Okay, and this last portion of Broadside is speaking about this experience. Und dieser letzte Teil von Broadside spricht dann über diese Erfahrung. Because the very last sentence says, Weil der letzte Satz sagt, I saw one after another leave the company who were praying to Jesus in the holiest and go and join those before the throne and they at once perceived the unholy influence of Satan. So what happens to them? Was geschieht mit ihnen? They fall off the path one after another. Right? Einer nach dem anderen fällt vom Pfad wieder ab. Okay. And this is what happens. If you don't stay in the sanctified walk from this point forward, you begin to fall off the path. Right? Und das geschieht, wenn du nicht in diesem geheiligten Wandel bleibst, von diesem Punkt vorwärts, dann wirst du anfangen vom Weg abzufallen. Okay. It's so important that we understand That this experience is the same as this experience, just on two different levels, right? Es ist so wichtig, dass wir verstehen, dass diese Erfahrung dieselbe ist wie diese Erfahrung. Es ist einfach auf zwei verschiedenen Ebenen. First the church, erste Gemeinde, then the Gentiles, right? Dann die Heiden. First the movement, erst die Bewegung, then the Gentiles and all those other people that didn't have an opportunity for the light, right? Und dann die Heiden und alle anderen Leute, die noch nicht die Möglichkeit hatten, für das Licht It's zu erhalten. Exactly the same experience, right? Das ist genau dieselbe Erfahrung. Right? Just on a bigger and smaller fractal, right? Nur auf einem größeren und hier auf einem kleineren Fraktal. So, when, um, when he sets off, it says, many become weary, so the Lord raised his right arm and said, Alleluia. Right? Und es sagt, wenn sie vorwärts gegangen sind, wurden viele müde und dann hat der Herr seinen rechten Arm gehoben und hat, sie haben gesagt, Alleluja. Okay, the light comes. Das Licht kommt. Just like it did at the beginning, right? Genauso wie am Anfang. So let's go there, go to Revelation 19. Gehen wir jetzt dahin, dann wieder runter zur Offenbarung 19. And you can see it brings you to the end. Und da right? kann man sehen, das bringt dich zum Ende. It's the only place in the Bible you find this expression. Das ist der einzige Ort in der Bibel, wo man diesen Ausdruck findet. Verse 1. Vers 1. It says, And after these things I had a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Alleluia! Salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments. For he hath judged the great whore which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And again they said, Alleluia! And their smoke rose up forever and ever. What's happening here? Was geschieht hier? Babylon is being punished. Right? Babylon wird bestraft. It's the end, right? Das ist das Ende. Where finally gets her just reward, right? Sie jetzt letztendlich ihre ähm, richtige Belohnung erhält. Here and here, right? Das ist hier und hier. The end, right? Am Ende jeweils. Okay, it says... And four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne, saying, Amen, Alleluia. And a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye, ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. So what she got on? Was hat sie an? The wedding garment. Das Hochzeitsgewand. So they had the wedding garment at the end here, right? Sie hatten das Hochzeitsgewand hier am Ende. Which is here. Was hier ist. And he said, keep your garments spotless. Er right? sagt, haltet eure Gewänder makellos. So when you get to the end here, you got to have on the... Wedding garment, just like at the end here, right? Wenn man dann hier am Ende ankommt, muss man das Hochzeitsgewand anhaben, so wie hier am Ende. Right? It says, And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And he saith unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. 
And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. So it takes you to Matthew 22. Das right? bringt dich zu Matthäus 22. We know Matthew 22 is these calls, and this is the final call. Right? Und in Matthäus 22 sind diese Aufrufe, und hier ist dieser letzte Aufruf. Okay, so you get to the end here. He comes in to see if you've got on the wedding garment. Wenn man hier zum Ende kommt, dann kommt er herein, um zu sehen, wer das Hochzeitsgewand anhat. First here, right? Erst hier. Now you've got to keep it spotless and then he's going to come in at the end and see if you still have it on, right? Jetzt musst du es makellos behalten und dann ähm, am Ende wird er kommen und sehen, ob du es noch an hast. And the point is this wedding garment is only obtained through the exceeding bright light. Und der right? Punkt ist, dass das Hochzeitsgewand nur durch das überaus helle Licht erhalten werden kann. Okay, if you, if you reject that exceeding bright light, you can never have on The wedding garment, Wenn du right? das über das helle Licht verwirfst, dann kannst du nie das Hochzeitsgewand anhaben. Okay, so just a parallel thought now. Ein Parallelgedanke jetzt. Next head in the third day. Right? Nächste Überschrift, der dritte Tag. Okay, so we're coming, we're back down here now, right? Jetzt sind wir wieder hier unten. Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Which day was the temple destroyed? Also Johannes 2, Vers 19. An welchem Tag wurde der Tempel zerstört? On the third day. No, no. Wasn't the third day, Mark? No. The first day. The 14th. Which day is that? Am 14. Okay, Tag. Passover. Das right? war das Passover. Christ was crucified on Passover and the temple was destroyed at Passover. Christus right? wurde an Passa gekreuzigt und der Tempel wurde an Passa zerstört. Right? And Passover is the First of those three days, right? Passa is das, uh, der erste dieser drei Tage. Yes? Okay. So he says, destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead... When was he risen from the dead? Wann wurde er von den Toten auferweckt? At the third day, Am right? Am dritten Tag. His disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Okay? Now the question is, is there a resurrection right here? Die Frage ist, ist hier eine Auferstehung? Okay, special resurrection, yes. Die besondere Auferstehung. Where else do we see that resurrection? Wo noch sehen wir diese Auferstehung? For this group, where do we see it? Für diese Gruppe, wo sehen wir das? Ezekiel 37. In Ezekiel 37. Okay. He, he passes by and he says, it specifically says they're resurrected out of their graves, right? Er geht, zieht an ihnen vorüber und dann sagt es ähm, spezifisch, dass er sie aus dem Grab äh, auferweckt hat. Okay, the, the, the two anointed ones, right? Come up hither. Mm -hmm. Die zwei Gesalbten, sie kommen hier herauf. Right, they come out of their graves there, right? Sie kommen dort aus ihren Gräben. So, when Christ died on the cross, did he have the victory? Als Christus am Kreuz gestorben war, hat er dort den Sieg erhalten. So he represents, he's already born again, right? Ja, also er stellt es da, wenn er schon neu geboren ist. But he had to endure these three days until the end, right? Aber er musste diese drei Tage bis zum Ende aushalten. Okay, so it says then, Okay, sorry. When, when therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scriptures and the word which Jesus had said. Okay? So the three, same three days we find in Exodus, chapter 12, right? Selben drei Tage finden wir in 2. Mose 12. Verse 11. Vers 11. That's where he took these three days from. Daher right? hat er diese drei Tage genommen. Yes? Yeah. Because Exodus is speaking about when they leave Egypt. Weil der zweite... Zweite Mose spricht darüber, wenn sie Ägypten verlassen. Which day did they leave Egypt? An welchem Tag haben sie Ägypten verlassen? On Passover. On right? Passover. Okay. So, verse 11. Verse 11. And thus shall he eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and he shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. So what were they to eat on that night? Was sollten sie in dieser Nacht essen? No, just, that may be true, but... You don't, you can't read that what you're saying, right? So just according to this, what we're reading, what were they to eat here? Also man kann da nicht lesen, das über das helle Licht, das mag richtig sein, aber was steht es hier, was sollten sie da essen? 
They were to eat his flesh and drink his blood, right? Sie sollten sein Fleisch essen und sein Blut trinken. That's what he said it represented. Das right? hat er gesagt, stellte das da. Okay, and in John chapter 6 it says, Eat my flesh and drink my blood, or you have no life in you. Und right? in Johannes 6 sagt es, dass äh, man sein Fleisch essen soll und sein Blut trinken soll, sonst hat man kein Leben in sich. Okay, so when, when they put the blood on the doorpost here, They were already the overcomers, right? Als sie das Blut hier an die Türpfosten gestrichen haben, waren sie schon die Überwinder. Because just in verse 12. Weil hier in Vers 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. So who's he executing judgment here? Über wen Upon? wird er das Gericht hier aus? The, the firstborn of Egypt, right? Die Erstgeborene von Ägypten. It's the be beginning of the judgments upon Egypt, es right? Es ist der Anfang der Gerichte über Ägypten. Punishes Jerusalem and immediately he begins to punish, because it's the seventh plague, immediately he begins to punish Babylon, right? Er bestraft Jerusalem und weil das hier der Anfang der siebten Plage ist, fängt er sofort an, äh, Ägypten zu bestrafen, Babylon zu bestrafen. Right, Vers 13. Vers 13. And the blood shall be to you for a token. A what? Was soll es sein? A token, Ein right? Zeichen. Upon the houses where ye are, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plagues shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. So if you didn't have the blood on the doorpost, you would be destroyed. Wenn right? du nicht das Blut an den Türpfosten gehabt hättest, würdest du zerstört werden. Next quote. Nächstes Zitat. Says, what is the seal of the living God? which is placed in the foreheads of his people. It is a mark which angels but not human eyes can read. For the destroying angel must see this mark of redemption. At midnight, who was coming? An Mitternacht, wer kam? The destroying angel, Der right? Engel. The intelligent mind has seen the sign of the cross of Calvary. What sign? Welches Zeichen? The cross. Des Kreuzes. When was the cross? Wann war das Kreuz? Passover, An right? Passover. Okay. In the Lord's adopted sons and daughters, the sin of the transgression of the law of God is taken away. What's taken away? Was wird weggenommen? Your sin, Deine right? Sünde. They have on the wedding garment, right? Sie haben das Hochzeitsgewand an. So just like here, there's a group here has the wedding garment at the beginning, and they have to keep it now until the end, und right? Und das ist genauso hier. Eine Gruppe hat das Hochzeitsgewand am Anfang an, und sie müssen es bis zum Ende behalten. Right, we see the par parallels. Can we the parallels see? Okay, next header. Next Überschrift. The resurrection. The Auferstehen. So this is this three days that Christ was referring to, right? Das sind diese drei Tage, auf die Christus sich bezogen hat. It says the disciples rested on the Sabbath, sorrowing for the death of their Lord, while Jesus, the King of Glory, rested in the sepulchre. The night had worn slowly away, and while it was yet dark, the angels hovering over the sepulchre knew that the time of the release of God's dear Son, their loved commander, had nearly come. And as they were waiting with the deepest emotion, the hour of his triumph, a strong and mighty angel came flying swiftly from heaven. His face was like the lightning, and his garments white as snow, His light dispersed the darkness from his track and caused the evil angels who had triumphantly claimed the body of Jesus to flee in terror from his brightness and glory. <clears throat> One of the angelic hosts who had witnessed the scene of Jesus' humiliation and was watching his sacred resting place joined the angel from heaven and together They came down to the sepulchre. The earth shook and trembled as they approached, and there was a mighty earthquake. The strong and mighty angel laid hold of the stone and quickly rolled it away from the door of the sepulchre and sat upon it. So what we see is an angel comes down from heaven, and he's shining with his bright glory, right? Was wir sehen können, ist ein Engel, der vom Himmel kommt, und der scheint mit dieser herrlichen Herrlichkeit. There's an earthquake. Es gibt right. ein Erdbeben. And the resurrection takes place, Und right? die Auferstehung findet statt. Okay. Next paragraph. Nächster Absatz. Um, it says, terrible fear 
sees the gap. So great fear comes upon them, right? Where was now their power to keep the body of Jesus? They did not think of their duty or of the disciples stealing him away. They were amazed and affrighted as the exceeding bright light of the angels shone all around brighter than the sun. So what sort of light was it? Was für eine Art Licht war das? The exceeding bright light. Das so it was an exceeding bright light that came from heaven that resurrected Christ. Literal or symbolic? Buchstäblich oder symbolisch? Yeah, symbolic, right? Symbolisch. The angel coming from heaven is light, right? Engel, der vom Himmel kommt, ist Licht. It's a message, es right? Eine Botschaft. Okay, and it, it comes down from heaven because we know those angels bring the oil, right? Kommt vom Himmel herunter, weil wir wissen, dass die Engel das Öl bringen. What were they to do at midnight? Was sollten sie an Mitternacht? According to the parable. Gemäß dem Gleichnis. Not gather oil, pour the oil into the vessels, right? Also nicht das Öl sammeln, sondern das Öl in ihr Gefäß gießen. Okay, so. Right here, the angel comes down, right? It's the darkest point, right? Here comes the angel herunter, this is the darkest point. Okay, and light shines out of that darkness, right? And light shines out of this darkness. The resurrection, right? It's the resurrection. I want you to see, it's the exceeding bright light that resurrects you, right? I want you to see that this is the exceeding bright light that resurrects you, right? Okay, it says, one angel rolled back... Uh, Sorry, the Roman guard saw the angels and fell as dead men to the ground. Where else do we see that in the Bible? Wo noch können wir das in der Bibel sehen? Sorry, that's in my name. Yes, in Gethsemane. Also, in, 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 just go to Daniel 10, I think, it says the same thing. Geht zu Daniel 10, ich glaube, da sagt es das selbe. I think Sister White mentions it like that. But, um, you know which chapter it's in where they, where they do that? And Gethsemane? Uh, John 18. Okay, go to um, Gethsemane. 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 Be sister, why this is doesn't matter, but we know that when you you fall to the ground as dead men, it's because you saw the revelation, right? Also, das mag wo anders sein, aber wir wissen, wenn man zum Boden fällt wie tot, dann markiert es, wenn du die Offenbarung erhalten hast. Okay, it says one angel rolled back the stone in triumph and with a clear and mighty voice cried out, "Thou son of God, thy father calls thee, come forth!" Right. Come forth, come hither. It's the same expression. Right? Come hervor, come hierher. Death could hold dominion over him no longer. Jesus arose from the dead, and the other angel entered the sepulchre. And as Jesus arose in triumph, he unbound the napkin which was about his head, and Jesus walked forth a victorious conqueror. In solemn awe, the angelic host gazed upon the scene, and as Jesus walked forth from the sepulchre in majesty, those shining angels prostrated themselves to the ground and worshipped him. Then hailed him with songs of victory and triumph that death could hold its divine captive no longer. Satan did not now triumph. His angels had fled before the bright penetrating light, light of the heavenly angels. Okay, so the point I want to make is this point here, there's, there's an earthquake, right? Punkt, den ich machen will, an diesem Punkt gibt es ein Erdbeben. And that earthquake does this resurrection take place. Bei diesem Erdbeben findet die Auferstehung statt. Okay, which is here, right? Und das wäre hier. And it's this exceeding bright light that 
brings about this, right? Das über das helle Licht, das das zustande bringt. It brings about the, the resurrection, das right? Das bringt die Auferstehung it's zustande. An, it's an angel coming down from heaven, Und right? Das ist ein Engel, der vom Himmel herunter. Do we have an angel coming down from heaven here, exceeding bright light? Haben wir hier einen Engel, der vom Himmel kommt und über das helle Licht? Yes, it's the latter rain, right? Ja, das ist der Spät. Okay, and just quickly go to Revelation 11 and just remind us of this point. Und geht kurz zur Offenbarung 11, dass wir uns an den Punkt erinnern. Because you see exactly the same illustration. Ja, right? sehen. Verse 11. Vers 11. It says, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them. What entered into them? Was ist in sie spirit of life. Der right? Geist des Lebens. Eat my flesh and drink my blood, or you have no life in you. Okay. It says, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Right? So, same illustration, right? And then he says, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying, come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. Right? The angel comes here and says, your father, come forth, your father calls you. Right? Also der Engel äh, kam dort und hat gesagt, komm hervor, dein Vater ruft dich. And the same hour there was a great earthquake, right? Und äh, Vers 13, also zur selben Stunde war ein großes Erdbeben. So, we have this earthquake here, right? Hier ist dieses Erdbeben. Sister White says, so an earthquake at the beginning, when he went into the grave, there's an earthquake when he came out of the grave, right? Und der White sagt, Ein Erdbeben war am Anfang, wo er in das Grab ging, und ein Erdbeben, als aus dem Grab hervorkam. So you can see, great fear comes upon them here. Wir können also sehen, große Furcht kommt hier über sie. Just paralleling this experience, right? Das ist nur parallel zu dieser Erfahrung. Which is at the end. Was am Ende ist. Right? It's so important that we see these patterns, how it just shows us the exact same thing, right? Es ist so wichtig, dass wir diese Muster sehen, wie es uns genau dasselbe zeigt. Okay, so go to Matthew 27. Geht zu Matthäus 27. Vers 51. Vers 51. It says, And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. So what was, what was happened now? Was ist jetzt geschehen? The veil is taken away, right? So they're seeing through the flesh and they're seeing the spirit, right? Okay, it's when you come face to face with God, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Right? It's the gospel, right? Right? Because the gospel is the plan of salvation. Weil das Evangelium ist der Erlösungsplan. We saw at the beginning, the plan of salvation is the exceeding bright light. Am Anfang hatten wir gesehen, dass der ähm, Erlösungsplan das überaus helle Licht war. So when that veil is taken away, you see the plan of salvation. Wenn right? dieser Vorhang also weggenommen wird, dann siehst du den Erlösungsplan. Christ high and lifted up. Christus right? hoch und erhaben. And you're humbled in the dust. This is what saves you, right? Du wirst in den Staub gedemütigt. Das rettet dich. Okay, so behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose, and came out of the graves after his resurrection, and went into the holy city, and appeared unto many. So when they come out of the grave here, they are now sent. Right? Wenn sie aus dem Grab kommen, dann werden sie gesandt. Like Jonah. Wie Jonah. Right? Because Jonah comes out of the belly after the... Weil Jonah kommt dann äh, aus dem Bauch nach dem... Three days. Nach dem drei Tagen. It's the same three days from here to here, right? Das sind dieselben drei Tage von hier bis hier. Jonah comes out of the belly here, right? Jonah kommt hier aus dem Bauch. Representing those that go forth into the city and are now preaching, right? Stellt diejenigen da, die jetzt in die Stadt... Gehen und predigen. So this preaching here is just a bigger fractal of this preaching here. Dieses right? Predigen hier ist einfach ein größeres Fraktal von diesem Predigen hier. They're both the midnight cry. Beides ist der Mitternachtsruf. Right? It's the same light, right? It's this exceeding bright light. Es ist dasselbe Licht, das über das helle Licht. Okay. So now we're just going to 
read through two quotes that speak about Millerite history, right? And they both start on August 11, 1840. Right? And they lead you down through this history till you get to the um, Midnight Cry. You see that this point and this point, it's the same. And this point is this point. You see, the experience here and the experience here are the same, right? Man sehen, dass die Erfahrung hier und hier dieselbe ist. Right? Okay. This is what we have. To, it's like working out a puzzle, right? Das müssen wir tun. Wir müssen wir ein Puzzle zusammen bedienen. Okay. Let's let's begin this from early writings. Lass uns anfangen von EW. I saw a number of companies that seemed to be bound together by cords. Many in these companies were in total darkness. Their eyes were directed downward to the earth, and there seemed to be no connection between them and Jesus. What did it say about the first Adam? Was hat es über den ersten Adam gesagt? The first man of the earth is earthy. Der erste right? Mann. Mensch der Erde ist irdisch. Okay, but the, the second man was of heaven, right? Aber der zweite Mann war ähm, vom Himmel. So the first man is a type, the second one is the antitype, right? Der erste Mensch ist ein Typus, der zweite der Antitypus. So why are these people bound in cords? Warum sind diese Leute mit Stricken verbunden? They're stuck in the types, they don't know what the types point to, right? Festgesetzt in den Typen. Sie wissen nicht, auf was die Typen hindeuten. They're following after men and not God, Sie right? Folgen Menschen und nicht Gott. And you'll see it's men that are binding them in these cords, right? Sehen, es sind Menschen, die die, sie in diesen Stricken festbinden. Okay, but scattered through these different companies were persons whose countenances looked light and whose eyes were raised to heaven. Beams of light from Jesus, like rays from the sun, were imparted to them. An angel bade me look carefully, and I saw an angel watching over every one of those who had a ray of light, while evil angels surrounded those who were in darkness. I heard the voice of an angel cry, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment has come. When was that message given with power in Millerite history? Wann wurde diese Botschaft mit Kraft in der Millergeschichte verkündet? August the 11th, 1840. Am 11. August 1840. Just mentioned it, we're starting the beginning right here. Fängt hier beim Anfang. And it says on the chart, 1837, that the first angel's message began to give. Start to gain power. Right? Auf der Karte sagt es im Jahr 1837, da wurde ähm, angefangen die erste Engelsbotschaft mit Kraft. Of course, it was leading them down to this point. Das right? hat sie also zu diesem Punkt hingeführt. Right, because they had to have an experience here in order to be sent forth. Right? Weil sie mussten eine Erfahrung hier haben, damit sie vorwärts gesandt werden können. Okay, it says, a glorious light then rested down upon these companies. To enlighten all who would receive it. So which light is this now? Welches Licht ist das jetzt? The exceeding bright light. Das Some of those who were in darkness received the light and rejoiced. Others resisted the light from heaven, saying that it was sent to lead them astray. So they're, they're bracing themselves to Resist it, right? Bestärken sich darin, dem zu widerstehen. The light passed away from them and they were left in darkness. Right? So, right? You see, that happened here, that happened here, right? Also, Finsternis wurden sie gelassen. Man kann also sehen, was hier geschieht, geschieht auch hier. Okay. Um, <coughs> those who had received the light from Jesus joyfully cherished the increase of precious light which was shed upon them. Their faces beamed with holy joy, right? We've read this already. I made this point. All those that received the light, their faces shone with its glory, also right? Das hatten wir schon gelesen. Diesen Punkt hatte ich gemacht. All diejenigen, die das Licht erhalten haben, ihre Gesichter leuchteten jetzt mit der Herrlichkeit. 
While their gaze was directed upward to Jesus with intense interest and their voices were heard in harmony with the voice of the angel. Fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come. And as they raised this what? Cry. Cry. I saw those who were in darkness thrusting them with side and with shoulder. Now Miller always thought that right here he was believed he was given the midnight cry. Und Miller hatte immer geglaubt, dass er hier den Mitternachtsruf gegeben hat. But when Samuel Sheffield Snow came forth down here, what did they then call it in that history? Aber als Samuel Snow dann hier ähm, hinkam, was, wie haben sie das in der Geschichte genannt? The true midnight cry. Den wahren Mitternachtsruf. Right? But, but was he wrong? Aber lag er falsch? No, of course not. It was showing you that it's this is here, it's this Parallel, right? Nein, natürlich nicht. Wir haben das gezeigt, dass das hier eben eine Parallele ist. The midnight cry, the beginning, represents those that have had the experience and they go forth at the beginning and they're now giving that cry, right? Der Mitternachtsruf am Anfang stellt diejenigen da, die die Erfahrung gehabt haben und jetzt vorwärts geben und diesen Ruf gehen. Okay. And when you get to this point, it's just the final cry to the remainder, right? It's the same experience, right? Wenn man zu diesem Punkt angeht, kommt, dann ist einfach dieser letzte Ruf zu den übrigen. Das ist einfach dieselbe Erfahrung. Right? See, it's exactly the same experience. It's the midnight cry. Man kann sehen, es ist genau dieselbe Erfahrung, der Mitternacht. Okay. It says, as they raised this cry, I saw those who were in darkness thrusting them with side and with shoulder. These are the ones that have rejected it. Right? And where are they getting their power from? From Satan. They are putting their prayers up to Satan. Right? Okay. It says, Then many who cherished the sacred light broke the cords which confined them and stood out separated from those companies. So the, the message that goes forward now starts to bring the people in right Botschaft, die jetzt vorwärts geht fängt jetzt an die leute reinzubringen as they were doing this men belonging to the different companies and revered by them passed through some with pleasing words and others with wrathful looks and threatening gestures and fastening the cords which were weakening so who's fastening the cords on them wer festigt die stricke die auf ihnen sind Men, right? Satan, really, but through these men, right? Satan, in Wirklichkeit, aber durch diese Menschen. Because they're, they're fixed on the types, they're, they're lacking understanding of what these things mean. Right? So they're pointing to themselves instead of pointing them to Christ. Right? Um, These men were constantly saying, God is with us. We stand in the light. We have the truth. I inquired who these men were and was told that they were ministers and leading men who had rejected the light themselves and were unwilling that others should receive it. Okay? So you can know that when you reject the light, who are you now praying to? Satan. We went through this yesterday, showing that when your feet go into perfect darkness, you are committing the unpardonable sin. Right? Okay, next paragraph. I saw those who cherished the light looking upward with ardent desire, expecting Jesus to come and take them to himself. Soon a cloud passed over them, and their faces were sorrowful. Where have they come to? Mm -hmm. Consider, we start here, right? so where have they come to? That may be true, but let's just deal with Millerite history, try and follow the thought. Mit der Miller-Geschichte versucht, den Gedanken zu folgen. Ja, yeah, the yeah. first disappointment. Die erste Enttäuschung. Right? It's true, it's a time of trouble, but we're not, we're not dealing with those thoughts. We're dealing with the events of Millerite history. Right? Es war, dass es eine Zeit der Trübsal ist, aber wir ähm, behandeln jetzt diese 
Ereignisse der Miller-Geschichte. Okay, April 19, right? Der 19. April. Let's read, right? Lass uns lesen. Soon a cloud passed over them and their faces were sorrowful. I inquired the cause of this cloud and was shown that it was their disappointment. The time when they expected their Savior had passed and Jesus had not come. As discouragement settled upon the waiting ones, the ministers and leading men whom I had before noticed rejoiced and all those who had rejected the light triumphed greatly. So, um, it says, um, it says, as discouragement settled upon the who? The waiting ones, right? He told them here to do what? Wait here. Right, they were to wait until the, the, the second coming, right? Okay. So these are the, the waiting ones, right? All those who had rejected the light triumphed greatly while Satan his angels also exalted. Then I heard the voice of another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. Now where are we? Remember, this is the parable of the ten virgins. So just follow the steps in the ten virgins and you'll get the answers every time. Denk daran, um, das ist einfach das Gleichnis der zehn Jungfrauen und jetzt folgt einfach dem Gedanken mit dem Gleichnis, dann wisst ihr immer die Antwort. Right, okay, we're down to the point now of the, here, the end of the sixth plague, which is here, right? Also, wahre Mitternachtsruf, also hier am Ende der sechsten Plage, was hier ist. Okay, it says, um, <coughs> First one in Babylon's phone phone was still April 19th. And the second angel arrived, but then a little bit later the other angels joined to this angel. That was the one. Okay, one second. This, it's, it's true that it's true at this point there's an angel comes here, Babylon has fallen, but if you read it. Uh, so first it's there, right, where the disappointment and the slide comes, and then it yes. says, I saw a number of angels conversing with the one who had cried, Babylon's fallen, and they okay. then join the author of Babylon comes, so that would be then. Yeah, yes, the, 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 okay, that's how I understand it also. The, this point here, mm -hmm. where it says, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, is th this point, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Also dieses Babylon ist gefallen wäre dann ähm, hier am Anfang und dann ähm, nachher vereinen sie sich mit dem Ruf, siehe der Bräutigam kommt und das ist der Mitternacht. Okay, it says, behold, so it says, Babylon has fallen and these united with him in the cry, behold the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. The musical voices of these angels seem to reach everywhere. An exceeding bright and glorious light shone around those who had cherished the light which had been imparted to them. Their faces shone with excellent glory, and they united with the angels in the cry, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Right? So it's this transition period from their disappointment down to the point where they now understand their disappointment and they're giving this cry. Right? Das ist die Übergangsphase von dieser Enttäuschung und wenn sie dann diese Enttäuschung verstehen und dann den Mitternachtsruf geben. As they harmoniously raised the cry among the different companies, those who rejected the light pushed them with angry looks, scorned and derided them. Here again, right? This is wieder here. Same as what they did here. Dasselbe hatten sie auch hier getan. Right? But angels of God wafted their wings over the persecuted ones, while Satan and his angels were seeking to press their darkness around them to lead them to reject the light from heaven. Then I heard a voice saying to those who had been pushed and derided, come out from among them and touch not the unclean. So this is them now going forward. They are these looking for the lost sheep, right? There are these angels sent to gather, right? And they give this message. Come out from among them and touch not the unclean. In obedience to this voice, a large number broke the cords which bound them, and leaving the companies that were in darkness, joined those who had previously gained their freedom, and joyfully united their voices with them. I heard the voice of earnest, agonizing prayer from a few 
who still remained with the companies that were in darkness. So, where would we see this being illustrated? Wo würden wir das sehen, uh, dargestellt sehen? Just think, right, they're going forward now, they're giving this last call, and there's people here, and they're agonizing in prayer. Denk daran, sie gehen jetzt vorwärts, geben den letzten Ruf, und jetzt gibt es Leute, die noch im Gebet, um, ja, also diese Seelenqual haben. Where would we see this being illustrated? Wo wir, sehen wir das noch dargestellt? Go to Revelation 8. Die zur Offenbarung 8. Okay. Because their prayers are ascending up to heaven. Right? Ihre Gebete steigen zum Himmel auf. Rem remember what we read at the beginning. I'm always building these points. The light came from the Father to the Son. And who did the light go to? Und erinnert euch äh, daran, was wir am Anfang besprochen haben. Darauf bauen wir immer auf. Also das Licht kam vom Vater zu dem Sohn und wo ging es dann hin? To those that were sighing and crying in prayer, right? Zu denen, die gesäuft und geklagt haben im Gebet. Okay, so you know now, right, that these people that are saying, come out from among them, represent this light that's coming to these people, right? Du weißt jetzt, dass diese Leute, die ähm, sagen, kommt von ihnen heraus, das stellt dieses Licht da, ähm, was zu den Leuten kommt. Because they're giving the midnight cry. Weil sie den Mitternachtsruf And the midnight cry is the exceeding bright light. Und der Mitternachtsruf ist das überaus helle Licht. Right? Okay. Okay. So, and remember, we read, Christ is leading them out a little way. Right? Denkt daran, wir hatten gelesen, dass Christus hier einen kleinen Weg hinaus ging. Literally or spiritually? Buchstäblich oder geistlich? When we covered this point, we've just been through it. Who's Christ leading them out here? Wer ist Christus, der sie hinausführt? Sorry? It's, it's people, the ones Volk. giving the message, right? Sein Volk, was die Botschaft hier We went to John 10, and John 10 says, They hear my voice, and he leadeth them out, right? Wir haben Johannes 10 gelesen, wo steht, er hört ihre Stimme, sie hören seine Stimme, und er führt sie hinaus. So those giving the cry there, right, they're hearing the voice of Christ, and they... they They said they hear his voice and another they will not follow, right? Also diejenigen, die den Ruf dort geben, die hören seine Stimme und ähm, einen anderen werden sie nicht folgen. So it said, let's go back to this point, it says. Ja, zurück zu diesem Punkt. Um, I heard the voice of earnest agonizing prayer from a few who still remained with the companies that were in darkness. The ministers and leading men were passing around in these different companies, fastening The chords fall more firmly, but I still heard the voice of earnest prayer. So in Revelation 8, right? In Offenbarung 8. Um, Vers 3. Vers 3. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer. So here's Christ. Where is he standing? Here's Christus and where is he? Before the altar, right? Before the altar. And remember, Lawrence has just been through all these altars, right? They all represent the same thing, right? And uh, denk daran, Lawrence is uh, through all these things gegangen uh, über diese Altäre und es stellt alles dasselbe da. Christ stands before the the Ark of the Covenant, and right in front of him is the Shekinah glory, right? Christus steht vor der Bundesladung, genau vor ihm ist die Shekinah der Herrlichkeit. The light comes from the Father on the throne to him, and then he. Sends it to the to his people, das right? Licht kommt vom Vater, also von dem Thron zu ihm, und dann sendet er es zu seinem Volk. So it says here, another angel came and stood at the altar. This is Christ, right? Vers 3, das ist Christus. Having a golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of all the saints. Who's praying here? Wer betet hier? Those that are agonizing in prayer, we just read about, right? Diejenigen, die im Gebet ähm, äh, ausharren, also was wir hier gerade gelesen haben. I heard the voice of earnest agonizing prayer from a few who still remained with the companies that were in darkness. The ministers and leading men were passing around in these different companies, fastening the cords more firmly. But still I heard the voice of earnest prayer. Then I saw those who had been praying reach out their hands for help towards the united company who were free, rejoicing in God. The answer from them, as they earnestly looked to heaven and pointed upward, was, Come out from among them and be separate. I saw individuals struggling 
for freedom. What are they having? Was haben sie? The struggle, right? What's going to set them free? Was wird sie freisetzen? The truth. Die Wahrheit. Right. And the truth is the exceeding bright light, Und right? Die Wahrheit ist das überaus helle Licht. Okay. It says, uh, and at last they broke the cords that bound them. They resisted the efforts which were made to fasten the cords tighter and refused to heed the repeated assertions, God is with us, we have the truth with us. Persons were continually leaving the companies that were in darkness and joining the free company, who appeared to be in an open field raised above the earth. Their gaze was directed upward. The glory of God rested upon them and they joyfully shouted his praise. They were closely united and seemed to be wrapped in the light of heaven. Around this company were some who came under the influence of the light, but who were not particularly united to the company. Okay, so you're just before the second disappointment now, right? So in this final call here, there's people that come and join, right? But they're still not fully um, accepted the truth. Also es gibt hier Leute in diesem letzten Ruf, die kommen und schließen sich an, aber sie haben nicht vollständig die Wahrheit erhalten. It's just like here, right? Genauso wie hier. Going forth of the virgins, what did, the, what did happen here? Die Jungfrauen gehen vorwärts, was ist hier geschehen? Think of it, what we're asking. There was a group that didn't take oil in their vessels, right? Da gab es eine Gruppe, die nicht Öl in ihre Gefäße genommen hat. And it means that they, they, they didn't allow the truth to break up their old nature, right? Das bedeutet, sie haben der äh, Wahrheit nicht erlaubt, ihre alte Natur aufzubrechen. They just had a surface understanding and they went by the faith of their brethren. They didn't have their own faith, right? Sie hatten einfach nur ein oberflächliches Verständnis und sind äh, nach dem Glauben ihrer Geschwister gegangen. Sie hatten nicht ihren eigenen Glauben. Okay, it says many move by fear. Right? Es sagt, viele sind durch, äh, durch Angst äh, bewegt. And this was the same in Millerite. Many people came and joined themselves by fear. Right? Und das war das auch dasselbe in der Miller-Geschichte. Viele haben sich ihnen angeschlossen aus Furcht. Okay, it says, but let's read, it says. Lesen wir weiter. Um, around this company were some who came under the influence of the light, but who were not particularly united to the company. All who cherished the light, shed upon them, were gazing upward with intense interest. And Jesus looked upon them with sweet approbation. They expected him to come and longed for his appearing. They did not cast one lingering look to the earth. But again a cloud settled upon the waiting ones. Where are they now? Well, follow the history. Where are they? October 22nd, right? The first time the cloud came upon them was um, was here, right? First disappointment. Now they're at the second disappointment. Right? It's the next way mark we come to, right? Um, but again a cloud settled upon the waiting ones and I saw them turn their weary eyes downward. I inquired the cause of this change, said my accompanying angel. They are again disappointed in their expectations. Jesus cannot yet come to the earth. They must endure greater trials for his sake. They must give up errors and traditions received from men and turn holy to God and his word. They must be purified, made white and tried. Those who endure that better trial will obtain eternal victory. Right? It was just a type. Right? But that history, we're told, is going to repeat. Und es wird gesagt, dass diese Geschichte sich wiederholen wird. Perfectly for us, right? Willkommenerweise für uns. Okay, so, last quote. It's just the same history, we'll just fly through this and then we'll close. Letztes Zitat, das ist dieselbe Geschichte und wir werden da einfach schnell durchgehen und dann abschließen. This is just the same thing shown from another standpoint. Das ist dasselbe, einfach von einem anderen Blickwinkel. I was shown the interest which all heaven had taken in the work going on upon the earth. Jesus commissioned a mighty angel to descend and warn the inhabitants of the earth to prepare for his second coming. So an angel's coming down to earth, right? An angel comes to the earth herunter. As the angel left the presence of Jesus in heaven, an exceeding bright and glorious light went before him. And this is right here on August 11, 84. This is genau hier am 11. August 1840. I was told that his mission was to lighten the earth with his glory 
and warn man of the coming wrath of God. Right? They begin to give the message here. Right? An die Botschaft hier zu geben. Multitudes received the light. Some of these seemed to be very solemn, while others were joyful and enraptured. All who received the light turned their faces toward heaven and glorified God. Though it was shed upon all, some merely came under its influence. Right, here's the same illustration, right? Yes, diese Bedarstellung. But did not heartily receive it. Many were filled with great wrath. Ministers and people united with the vile and stoutly resisted the light shed by the mighty angel. But all who received it withdrew from the world and were closely united with one another. Satan and his angels were busily engaged in seeking to attract the minds of as many as possible from the light. The company who rejected it were left in darkness. I saw the angels of God watching with the deepest interest his professed people to record the character which they developed as the message of heaven origin was presented to them. So what will the message do? Was wird die Botschaft tun? Develop your character, right? Dein Charakter entwickeln. And as very many who profess love for Jesus turned from the heavenly message with scorn, derision and hatred, an angel with a parchment in his hand made the shameful record. So that things have been recorded, right? When you'd reject this truth. Die right? Dinge werden aufgezeichnet, wenn du diese Wahrheit verwirfst. All heaven was filled with indignation that Jesus should be thus slighted by his professed followers. I saw the disappointment of the trusting ones as they did not see their Lord at the expected time. So now it brings you to here. It's a disappointment. Jetzt right? hierhin, die erste Enttäuschung. It had been God's purpose to conceal the future and to bring his people to a point of decision. Without the preaching of definite time for the coming of Christ, the work designed of God would not have been accomplished. Satan was leading very many to look far in the future for the great events connected with the judgment and the end of probation. It was necessary that the people be brought to seek earnestly for a present preparation. As the time passed, Those who had not fully received the light of the angel united with those who had despised the message, and they turned upon the disappointed ones with ridicule. Angels marked the situation of Christ's professed followers. The passing of the definite time had tested and proved them, and very many were weighed in the balance and found wanting. So if you reject the truth, when it comes to this decisive point, you're weighed in the balance and found wanting. Wanting, wenn right? du die Wahrheit verwirrst, wenn es zu diesem entscheidenden Moment kommt, dann wirst du in der Waagschale gebogen werden und zu leicht befunden werden. They loudly claimed to be Christians, yet in almost every particular failed to follow Christ. Satan exalted at the state of the professed followers of Jesus. He had them in his snare. He had led the majority to leave the straight path and they were attempted to climb up to heaven some other way. Angels saw the pure and holy mixed up with sinners in Zion and with the world-loving hypocrites. They had watched over the true disciples of Jesus, but the corrupt were affecting the holy. Those whose hearts burned with an intense desire to see Jesus were forbidden by their, forbe pro by their professed brethren to speak of his coming. Angels viewed the scene and sympathized with the remnant who loved the appearing of their Lord. Another mighty angel was commissioned to descend to the earth. Jesus placed in his hand a writing, and as he came to the earth, he cried, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. This is the point Lawrence was making right here. Right? Also, das ist der Punkt, den Lawrence gemacht hat, das ist genau hier. It says, Then I saw the disappointed ones again raise their eyes to heaven, looking with faith and hope for their Lord's appearing, because the light of the midnight cry now comes to them. Right? Das Licht des Mitternachtsrufs kommt jetzt zu ihm. But August 22nd. Mm, October 22nd. 22. October. Um, but many seem to remain in a stupid state as if asleep. Okay, it's the parable of the ten virgins. They're all sleeping. Right? Yet I could see the trace of deep sorrow upon their countenances. The disappointed ones saw from the scriptures that they were in the tarrying time. Okay, so... Marks the tarrying time here, right? Hier die Verzögerungszeit. Um, 
and that they must patiently wait the fulfilment of the vision. The same evidence which had led them to look for the Lord in 1843 led them to expect him in 1844. Yet I saw that the majority did not possess that energy which marked their faith in 1843. Their disappointment had dampened their faith. As the people of God united in the cry of the second angel, the heavenly host marked with deepest interest the effect of the message. They saw many who bore the name of Christians turn with scorn and derision upon those who had been disappointed. As the words fell from mocking lips, You have not gone up yet? An angel wrote them, said the angel. They mocked God. I was pointed back to a similar sin committed in ancient times. Elijah had been translated to heaven and his mantle had fallen upon Elisha. Then wicked youth who had learned from their parents to despise the man of God followed Elisha and mockingly cried, Go up thou bald head, go up thou bald head. In thus insulting his servant, they insulted God and met their punishment then and there. In like manner, those who have scoffed and mocked at the idea of the saints going up will be visited with the wrath of God and will be made to feel that it is not a light thing to trifle with their maker. Every place, every time it's shown you this, this perfect darkness, closed door, right? It's, it, it, you can't, that the amount of light that we've received, we cannot afford to be those that turn from this light. Also an jedem Punkt äh, zeigt es uns immer diese vollkommene Finsternis, diese geschlossene Tür und die Menge an Licht, die wir erhalten haben, das kann man sich nicht leisten, dieses Licht äh, abzulehnen. And remember that people are going to come, your, your former brethren are going to come and try to deceive you, right? Und denkt daran, äh, eure früheren Geschwister werden zu dir kommen und versuchen dich zu verführen. Okay, we don't know who it is, maybe me, right? Wir wissen nicht wer das ist, das kann auch ich. That's why we teach you to stand on a thus saith the Lord, not a thus saith the man, Deswegen right? Deswegen lernen wir euch, dass ihr auf einem so spricht der Herr steht und nicht auf einem äh, so spricht der Mensch. Jesus commissioned other angels to fly, fly quickly to revive and strengthen the drooping faith of his people and prepare them to understand the message of the second angel and the important move which was soon to be made in heaven. I saw these angels receive great power and light from Jesus and fly quickly to earth to fulfill their commission and aid the second angel in his work. A great light shone upon the people of God as the angel cried, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. So here's this exceeding bright light comes, right? Yes, das über das helle Licht, das kommt. Then I saw the disappointed ones rise and in harmony with the second angel proclaim, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. So now we're here. Jetzt sind wir hier. Just like they were at the beginning. Genauso right? wie sie am Anfang waren. Okay. The light from the angels penetrated the darkness everywhere. Satan and his angels sought to hinder this light from spreading and having its designed effect. They contended with the angels from heaven, telling them that God had deceived the people and that with all their light and power they could not make the world believe that Christ was coming. But notwithstanding, Satan strove to hedge up the way and draw the minds of the people from the light, and angels of God continued their work. Those who received the light appeared very happy. They looked steadfastly toward heaven and longed for the appearing of Jesus. Some were weeping and praying in great distress. Their eyes seemed to be fixed upon themselves and they dared not look upward. A light from heaven parted the darkness from them and their eyes, which had been fixed in despair upon themselves, were turned upward. While gratitude and holy joy were expressed upon every feature, Jesus and all the angelic hosts looked with approbation upon the faithful waiting ones. Those who rejected and opposed the light of the first angel's message lost the light of the second and could not be benefited by the power and glory which attended the message, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Jesus turned from them where they frowned, for they had slighted and rejected him. Those who received the message were wrapped in a cloud of glory. They greatly feared to offend God and waited and watched and prayed to know his will. I saw Satan and his angels seeking to shut this divide line from the people of God. But as long as the waiting ones cherished the light and kept their eyes raised from the earth to Jesus, Satan could have no power to deprive them of its precious rays. So it's all about keeping your 
maintaining the light from the beginning, right? Es geht immer darum, das Licht von Anfang vom Anfang festzuhalten. Both instances, as long as you hold on to the light as a beginning, Satan cannot take you away, right? In beiden Fällen, solange du an diesem Licht festhältst, was am Anfang war, kann Satan dich nicht wegnehmen. Watch and pray, study and yes. Indem du wachst und betest, also studierst. Okay, last paragraph. Äh, letzter Absatz. Very many raised their voices to cry, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, and left their brethren who did not love the appearing of Jesus, and who would not suffer them to dwell upon his second coming. I saw Jesus turn his face from those who rejected and despised his coming, and then he bade his angels lead his people out from among the unclean, lest they should be defiled. Those who were obedient to the message stood out free and united, a holy light Shown upon them, right? We should stop there, right? So the point is that it's very clear, right? This is a very serious thing, right? If you reject the exceeding bright light, Christ will reject you. Right? We, we, we really need to make this preparation, right? Okay. So you can go through all these things in your own time. Ihr könnt durch diese Dinge in eurer eigenen Zeit durchgehen. And um, anyway, I think I went a little over time. Sorry about that. Ich bin ein bisschen über die Zeit gegangen. Das tut mir leid. Let's close. Okay, let's close. Das ist ein Dear Heavenly Father, Lieber himmlischer Vater, Lord, I thank you for your truth. Herr, ich danke dir für deine Wahrheit. And Lord, we can see how serious it is to, to reject truth. Und Herr, wir können sehen, wie ernst es ist, wenn wir Wahrheit ablehnen. And Lord, if we reject this, we reject both the Father and the Son. Und wenn wir das verwerfen, Herr, dann verwerfen wir sowohl den Vater als auch den Sohn. This healing message that comes from heaven. Diese Heilungsbotschaft, die vom Himmel kommt. And Lord, it's, you can see clearly that if we don't receive this light when it comes, we will surely lose our souls. Herr, wir können klar sehen, dass wenn wir nicht das Licht erhalten, wenn es kommt, werden wir sicherlich unsere Seelen verlieren. Lord, we believe, help us our unbelief. Herr, wir glauben, bitte hilf uns am Unglauben. These, um, these convictions have a momentary effect on our sin-loving hearts. Und diese Überführungen haben einen momentanen Einfluss auf uh, unsere Sin Sünden. Therefore, Lord, we pray that you would quicken us. Deswegen beten wir, bitten wir dich, Herr, dass du uns erquickst. And not allow sin to draw us away after the loss of our world-loving hearts. Und dass du nicht erlaubst, dass Satan uns wegziehen kann durch unsere sündenliebenden Herzen. But that you would fulfill your will in each one of us. Sondern dass du deinen Willen in jeden einzelnen von uns. And create in us a clean heart, O Lord. Und dass du in uns, O Herr, ein wahres because you've promised a new heart you will give us. That you would take away these stony hearts and give us a heart of flesh. That you'd make us new bottles that you can fill us with the new wine. That we can take forth this message with great power. And bring many to your kingdom. So Lord, we know this is according to your will. And if we ask anything according to your will, you will hear us. And we ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.